Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video and today I'm going to unbox the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Um, just a disclaimer, I've never owned Elgato before and I've never streamed anything online uh, when I'm playing games but I recently bought an Xbox Series X and I was thinking why not um, have some sort of way where I can like capture my gameplay and then put it on YouTube. And then I went online and I did a lot of research and I found out that uh, Elgato HD60S basically is a capture card which does that. Uh, and I got the S Plus over S is because a lot of people uh, mentioned about the latency issues and also the video capturing issues uh, where you know your sound and basically the video is not in sync. And there's also choppiness plus there was definitely lag in terms of when people were streaming versus where, what was coming on the screen was like this is two to three second lags whereas this one is not i mean based on the reviews and that's how i thought why not give it a shot and I see it for myself so without further much ado like let's go ahead and open this up and see how it goes thank you got this product on Amazon for $189 and I'm going to leave the link in the description down below for you to check out if you guys are interested. Looking at the box, it says it's 4K 60 HDR pass through, has 1080p 60 HDR capture and uh, supports USB 3.0 which is good because then it's lag free uh, because of the high speed data transfer. Um, another thing about this is it's natively compatible with Mac uh, so the OBS link app uh, for HD 60s plus works natively with Mac whereas the previous version which was the HD 60s You basically had to go through a lot of hassle to get that figured out and then you would have so many latency issues And I am primarily a Mac owner, which is why I prefer something that could be simple plug-and-play uh, for me. So uh, Let's open this up and see what's inside So this is the HD 60s plus capture card as you can see there's a HDMI input uh, there's a USB-C port and there's a HDMI out so this is the one which is going to go into the MacBook I suppose whereas these are the input ports and since it has USB-C we can do a USB-C to USB-C connection with MacBook Pro because MacBook Pros don't have USB port anymore uh, and in the cables I can see they have given a USB to USB-C cable that's good and also a HDMI cable that comes along with it and then there's manual and a sticker so that's it simple packaging um, we have what we need so now we're gonna go and try to connect this to our Mac and Xbox and see how that works in order to set this up, I basically had to connect the HDMI cable that comes from my console into the capture card, the HDMI in port, and then have the HDMI cable from the out port connect to the monitor and the USB to USB-C cable from the Mac to the capture card. All right, so it's connected now. You can see that light, which means it is powering on and this should turn on as well there you go so now i have my hdmi cable coming out from the xbox into the splitter and there's one hdmi out that goes into my capture card and the other one basically goes directly into a monitor so now i don't need my capture card on every time i want to play now this is something it took me a lot of time to figure out so I downloaded OBS link as it was mentioned in the website but I later on found that I do not need OBS link with the HDS 60 plus or 60 pro model and uh, that's because it's natively compatible so all I really needed was the OBS um, software which is right here and you can see in order to add my Elgato all I had to do was click here and click on video capture device and I will I'd say create new and it would let me select my Elgato right here HD 60 S plus uh, and when I do that I basically have this video 
Elgato and I actually don't need this. I'm gonna cross this out, so yes. So this is what it essentially looks like. So the setup was hassle-free. I, I definitely like this. I did not have to go through uh, the issue of downloading OBS link and try to have my capture card added, added there so the software could read it. So now I can directly access it in the OBS Studio software. So now we'll just go ahead and click OK. So right now, if you can see, I'm playing Apex Legends. So I'm just gonna hit ready. All right, so you can see my screen and my MacBook at the same time. I'm not sure if the camera angle is good enough, but I'm just gonna bring this closer. And there you see the game's loading up, same time. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's happening pretty much at the same time, so there's no latency between these two displays. So while I'm doing it, I can simply start streaming here or I can add new streaming. So I can go ahead and here say OBS preferences. And then in here, I can go to the stream option and add another streaming service, in this case, YouTube. So I'll basically I just have to copy the uh, stream key from my YouTube into this and I should be good with YouTube for now it's just uh, Twitch so I can start streaming directly on Twitch so I'll just do that and now it's on my Twitch hey friends I hope you found that video helpful and if you actually did then make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more content. So see you in the next video.